Hello, welcome to Handmade by Julia Quinn and my extra video this week. I don't often, can, I can't often make it on a Friday afternoon at two o'clock, but I'm home today and I had a project ready and I thought, well, hello, here I go. I can do a video for you this afternoon. And this is another of the projects we did at our retreat day last weekend. And this project here features the beautifully happy celebration stamp set, which is free with a $180 purchase. And it also features this amazing paper, which I'll show you in the catalog, the Dandy Designs paper. Now the Dandy Designs paper is also free for a $180 purchase. Um, but it's 48 sheets of 12 by 12 inch paper. It's absolutely amazing. It's a big, big pack of paper and lots of beautiful designs that are useful for lots and lots of different events and occasions and projects. So it goes really well. Oh, and while we're in the catalogue, here's the beautifully happy stamp set, this one. And it's for free with 180. So if you had an order of $360, you could choose both that and the dandy designs paper and you would get $36 worth of free hostess rewards so that's really cool mind you if you wanted to spend that much you could probably take advantage of the really fantastic did you see in the back of the catalog the joining promotion i missed the page there so you don't have to spend a lot of money you only have to spend $169 and you get to choose $315 worth of product. These are all available till the end of February, which is next Tuesday. So if you want to grab the best value ever, make sure you get onto my store and have a look before next the end of next Tuesday. Anyway, let's get onto this lovely, lovely card here. Now, when I was creating this card, I actually looked at this paper here and I looked at the colors that are in the paper. This is one of the Dandy Designs paper. This is the reverse side. So it's Granny Apple Green and also Coastal Cabana, which is one of my favorites. And also it has in it the Fresh Freesia as well. So I thought, well, there's the three colors for my project. So I've got my Coastal Cabana card base and then my dandy designs paper, which I can stick on straight away. There's nothing else to do there. So that's ready to roll. Even just having the same cardstock coordinate with the paper, just, oh, it, it does good things, doesn't it? Okay, there's my little bit of twine. This is the white for the front of the card and I've already embossed this before I came on with my cane weave embossing folder. It has a really beautiful effect. Let me see if I can get that up for you. Hopefully that stays in focus. You can have a look, really beautiful. I have a tiny strip of garden granny apple green to pick up here. I've got a piece to stamp my greeting. And this is my piece for inside my card. And then these two pieces are for my mat. For the front of my card this is a beautiful beautiful fine shimmer paper it's in the mini catalog actually um let me see if it's in this page nope this page here i've used it on my bookmark actually the fine shimmer 12 by 12 paper pack it comes in soft succulent fresh freezer and gold and it just is it, it embosses beautifully it die cuts beautifully and it also punches beautifully so this piece here, I'm going to punch my leaves out of it and conserve all of that gorgeous paper so that when I put my cane weave on it, I can just put that straight on now actually. And I don't waste that gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous paper. So I'll just pop that in the center of my card. And I'll also put a bit of adhesive in the center and there you go run out i knew that one was going to run out and put my cane weave there there we go you would never know that i have gutted my paper by punching out some extra little leaves for the, my um, demonstration and i'm going to do the same thing 
with the decorative circle punch for my inside piece of pool party. And pool party is also another one of those colours that is actually on this paper. So that one. See, there's your pool party there. Your Coastal Cabana pool party. Granny Apple Green, Fresh Freesia. And this one here, I think it might be soft sea foam, actually. So, so this one goes behind there. Right, before I can stick, I can stick this one in. But before I can stick the white one in, I really need to do some stamping on it first. It's always good to stamp before you stick. That way, if you need to use both sides of the cardstock, you can. Now I'll just pop you in there. Very subtle difference. And let's do our stamping. I'll just pop you over there, you over there. Bring in my piercing mat. Now I'm stamping on this one, this one, and this one. And put you over there just to get my stamp set out. Look at this. It's seen a lot of love, hasn't it, this stamp set? I'll pop you on there. And then um, this one. Sending happy thoughts because it's um, a stamp I can use on anything. And also I'm going to use the tiny little bee. This little tiny bee. There are actually 17 stamps in this stamp set. So it's a really good stamp set. And it is also a two-step stamp set. But I'm not using it today as a two-step stamp. I'm going to colour using my stamp and blends. But it has, you are easy to love. Thank you. Kindness matters for a very happy birthday. Sending happy thoughts for a feeling better kind of day. Oh, and look, it has a spot stamp. Spot stamps are wonderful. Okay, let's stamp. I'm using basic grey, which is just, as it says, a very basic colour, useful for all sorts of things. It's a lot more subtle than using black if you're doing colouring in. So, actually, if you wanted to, I could show you the two-step stamping today and make this card slightly different. Okay, stamp my flower on there for the front of my card. All right, I think that's all for you. Just give it a bit of a clean. Stamp my sending happy thoughts. And the outer polymer is great because, and I'll put it on the right hand side, it enables you to see and line up with your cardstock so that it's nice and straight. And then I'm also going to do my little buzzy bee up here. Isn't that cute? So cute. I wonder if I can fit it on this one because I stamped over a little bit. There we go. A little bee. Now what I was going to show you was another way to colour in using your stamp and blends is just to draw along the lines of the already stamped image which is easy peasy type of coloring it just gives a nice little color and a lovely lift and but i was just thinking i could show you how the two step works and do the leaves just pop you back in here well that one's a bit small I'll reach out for my trusty box of blocks there you go there's the leaves And the flowers. There we go. Is there a bit that goes inside the bee, do you think? Not that I've ever done that. It doesn't actually look like it. There's a tiny little squidgy bit that could be it. Okay. So I was going to use Granny Apple Green. Stamp and Blends. You, you can compare. You get the privilege to compare the two and also see how extraordinary I am at uh, two-step stamping which might not be that extraordinary after all but anyway I'm relying on the brilliance of the photopolymer stamps to enable me to stamp there we go there's one and here's the other one bit trickier with the oh there it is up there couldn't quite see 
where the other leaf went. That was better, I think. There. So that's the granny apple green. And get some fresh freezer out for the flower. Here's the flower one. See how I go on this one, hey? Once again, the beautiful photopolymer allowing me to line up everything. I'm just going side to side to see if I can see where it is. There we are. Oh, that lined up pretty well. Almost. <laughs> Here we go. There's another one. Oops, that way. Well, that looks beautiful. Doesn't it look much better on the white than on the blue? I'm tempted to get a white, but then it would blend into the um, cane weave, so maybe that wouldn't look as good. Now I need some more leaf things, I think. These are the leaves for the top. But they also have... Oh, they're all going to be green. I reckon. top bits. Here we go. I haven't used this one before. This is the very first time. Here we are. One there. And one there. Beautiful. Alright. That's my colouring in done. And I might use also Saffron Stamp and Blend to colour in my bee because he's an extra. Is that going to work on this one? Probably not going to show up. Okay, now we can put the card together. So, should I try that on white, do you think? Let's do it. I'll just get a piece of white cardstock. Hang on. White cardstock with my decorative label punch. I've never been this spontaneous on a live before. I hope you don't mind. And stamp you there. And the little bee. There's the little bee. Okay. Did I put away the flowers already? I did too. Goodness gracious. Alright, now my fresh freesia flowers. Lining them up with that one up the top there and you down there there we go oh close very close and then granny apple green for all the leafery this one over here that one there this one here there we go. And the top leafery. There's a little bit of green just there. And some lining up just there. There we go. Well, I have to say, that's a pretty easy two step stamping set, that one. And then we can decide, well, I will sort of decide which one I like better. I do need a little bit more. So saffron for my bee. There we go. Now, we know that we can put this one inside because that is the one that worked. And then let's compare the difference between fully stamped and coloured in 
totally different look, hey? It does look nice though, fully stamped. And then on this one, we're going to put, first of all, a little bit of granny apple green. And this piece I put on just to highlight the greeting a bit. Okay, and then sending happy thoughts. Actually, I might put that one on dimensionals. There. Sending happy thoughts. Now, to have a look. Does that, does that get lost in the cane weave? Maybe if I put the leaves over this side to make it highlight. So which looks better, that one or that one? I do like the on the white. I'll have to use that on another project. I'm just going to tie a bow with my twine here. There we are. And stick adhesive all over the back of this. And strategically place my bits and pieces. This one down here on the sticky bits. And then cover up the bits with a dimensional. My fingers are sticking everything. Better than, oh, I just got rid of you out of there. Better than liquid glue at least, because it does rub off easily. There we are. That one, that one. Okay. Let's put in our different version of our beautifully happy stamp set there. There we go. Bit of a, a bow down the bottom and leaves on the side. So let me, <coughs> excuse me, let me know which is your favourite, the Pearl Party or the White or the colouring in with stamping blends. So these ones have been coloured in with blends or two-step stamping as per the stamp set as it comes. There we go, totally different looks really. That was fun looking at that. Thank you so much for joining me, anyone who was able to join me. And I'll answer all your questions after I'm finished. Bye-bye now.